All right, well, that other life, you know, the one other than YouTube, is certainly getting... <laughs> I knew that uh, when you get older, things change and uh, life becomes different because all your friends are getting older and all that. But boy, I tell you, it's getting... Uh, I'm sure many others have gone through this, say the same thing. Where's the good times? <laughs> so what I wanted to talk about today was the fact that I once in a while come up with some ideas on and I put them on this channel and I usually get that won't work uh, what a stupid idea what are, you, what are you thinking and all this you know it's usually negative I always ask people to go ahead and add their own ideas or completely their own ideas but let's go over to the board and I'll show you what I mean one of my ideas So, what the problem is, is that humans seem to need to go to war with each other and fight over land and, and oceans and all this stuff. What happens if we were to make a civilization that was more like nature, the way nature does it? The hive. Let's just call it the hive. Let me go over the board, I'll tell you, I'll show you what I mean. And remember, we have to re think about 7.6 billion people. And by the time this infrastructure was put in place, it'd be 10 billion. What we could do as a civilization is have civilizations that go anywhere, on any planet, in space, anywhere. And this is how it's set up. This is more like nature. It's set up as a, each one of these is an apartment complex in a block. Everybody belongs to their own block. They can move from place to place throughout the world by either trading blocks or selling and buying blocks. Your, your own apartment, per se. And everybody has uh, an allotted amount of space. And that's what we build the apartments in. We decide how many square feet, a thousand, two thousand, something like that. Probably wouldn't be more than that. So here's how it works. Each unit makes its own electricity, has its own retail, and lives in its own system, it, it, its own support system for water and electricity. You could also have gardens that grow on the outside of the building, or the first layer would be a garden in each apartment complex. You'd, you'd, each person would grow a certain amount of food and that way you completely feed yourselves in your own unit. And these units, you could live anywhere in the world. You just swap units, meaning that land and places really aren't there to fight over in the first place. All other land that isn't being built on is wild and forested. The food is is made in the tower itself vertically. That takes uh, all the uh, the burden off our regular land and we can put what used to be there back there so that nature can uh, deal with the CO2 problems. Another good thing about a building like this is that they could, they could fit with each other and when it really gets hot, share the cool air with each other. There's so many reasons to do this kind of thing. First of all, would there be any need for a president? Could we just live together and the only real hierarchy would be in the building or the, the, the quad itself? The universal, universal s civilization, quad, whatever you want to call it. I'm not crazy, but we've got to think about some way of living with our planet with these kind of numbers. And that is a real good way, is you build vertically instead of horizontally. So many things you could do with that, from solar power to wind power generation to even water tower generation, so that we've talked about in the past. So let me know what your ideas are, and uh, I certainly appreciate any ideas you have on this. You know, I think there's some good ideas out there. I just think. <laughs> Just checking to see if we're in focus. The camera's having issues, unfortunately. I'm already looking for a new one to see how much money we need to save up for to get a new one. This one's, uh, I don't know, it's got problems. I guess it wasn't really meant for every day, almost everyday video use.
though they say it's one of the better ones to do vlogging on. And I agree if it all worked right. <laughs> so, that's my idea. What's your idea? What's your thoughts? You know, it's, it's just a random kind of idea that I come up with every now and then. And I work on it and I think, well, why couldn't we just do it the way nature does it? What, a, what an awesome idea. What an awesome. Listen to me. Awesome. <laughs> What an intuitive idea, darling. I appreciate all the uh, comments on the last videos and the ups and the downs and the new subscribers. As soon as I get new subscribers, they come in like a couple days later and just strip them out. So, if you haven't subscribed, go for it. And we'll keep, uh, we'll keep YouTube having to work. And until next time.